Governor Mike Mbubi Sonko will be investigated by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission and may even be arrested after a Nairobi court declined to honour his application to bar the anti-graft watchdog from carrying out these actions. Presiding Judge Justice John Onyego also declined to issue the interim orders as sought by the Governor pending the hearing of his application. The court has gone ahead to fix a hearing date for the 9th of December. The governor had moved to court to stop the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission from investigating him over corruption allegations, claiming that he is being persecuted for standing in the way of land grabbers. But despite this, Governor Sonko has continued to elicit reactions from Nairobi residents with a show of opulence amid challenges aplenty that city dwellers are dealing with. Charity Mwangi has more. This is the image that caught the attention of most city dwellers. Governor Mike Sonko's choice of setting in making public announcements at a time city dwellers are grappling with a myriad of challenges. The show of grandiosity and opulence with golden everything to boot appears deliberate, but residents are not taking it kindly. As a leader, and if you've really made that money uh, in an honest way, there are things that you're not even supposed to post. When people are languishing, there are salaries that are not paid. It's not bad to post uh, the photos, his photos, how he lives, but it's bad when he posts when the services are not rendered for the people that voted for him. Watu wa meteseka, wanaomba ata shilingi kumi peke yake wapata chakula lakini awaweze. Ninaona kwamba ni, mimi kivi yangu ninaona ni uchungu kutengeneza nyumba ni dhahabu lakini wa Kenya huku tunaumia The city county is seemingly on a decline poor drainage and resultant flooding bad roads dysfunctional social amenities and then the mother of all multi-million shilling corruption allegations for which the governor is facing charges We are seeing two faces of the governor the personal governor and his wealth, and the, the road that is at City Hall. Why can't he clear the road? Garbage is all over again. You walk in most places, unakuta kinyezi yenye haiku wako. We are going back into those old days when we did not have system in, in City Hall. So what he's doing is really bad. Now, as vitu zenye anapost kwa social media, they're even bad. Ni vitu zinafanya na vijana wadogo who are growing up. You should be able, hana etiquette ya leader. The poor management of city affairs has caught the attention of the president. Tuko na wenzetu ambao hana maji hawana maji safi ya kunywa. Katika huu muji tuko na wenzetu ambao wanaenda choo kupitia makaratasi. Anarchy and disorder reign supreme at city hall. Services to the citizens have practically Ground to a halt. Proposals to disband the county government of Nairobi and have the city county run by the national government have been mooted. But as the powers that be politic, many a Nairobian have to deal with the challenges year in, year out. For now, it seems they are stuck with Governor Sonko, a man known to respond to public outcry with even more drama. Charity Mwangi, NTV.